Hello students, I am Mr. Sandeep here. In our subject advanced manufacturing processes, we have started our discussion on the chapter composite materials. So we have introduced the composite material in previous session and also a discussion on the basic definition and also classification and components of composite material system. So in any composite material it is generally made of two things that is the reinforcement and your matrix right so reinforcement and your matrix these two things are very important so in any composite material there is a matrix and there is a reinforcement so generally fibers are used as a reinforcement and a matrix is made of generally epoxy resin or say it is also made of metal so there are many types of matrix materials or base available as well as as a reinforcement or say as a, your material of your matrix and reinforcement you can use many components so we have discussed the classification of composite materials so in today's session we are going to discuss on various manufacturing processes or say how can we make a composite material so once again i repeat matrix is very important and your reinforcement is also important so matrix and reinforcement these two components are very important in any manufacturing method we are going to discuss on various method or say various processes based on which we can make any composite material so generally these manufacturing methods are classified based on open and closed molding or say based on atmospheric condition you can classify the open molding and closed molding as per the name here in the open molding process as per the name this mold is open to the atmosphere it means this whole manufacturing is open to the atmosphere and can be done at atmospheric pressure right and in the closed molding the closed mold is provided so that may there may be a pressure rise or say lower pressure can be used as, as for example vacuum can be used in that particular manufacturing right so here let us start our discussion on various processes under this categories so here i mentioned the first process that is a hand layer process and that is under category of open molding process so as per the name this process is a hand layer it means this process is or say can be done in the open molding and with help of manual efforts or with help of hand you can make your composite material so this is the basic of this process so let us start our discussion on the process steps or how can we make the composite material with help of this process so as per the name it is a hand layup it means here your material or say composite material can be made with help of a hand right so here matrix material is there and here reinforcement is also there so here I, as per our discussion here resin is provided that is the matrix material so resin is nothing but it is in form of liquid or say in form of epoxy so resin or say epoxy resin is uh, works as a matrix and here fiber is or say fiber is used as your reinforcement material so here reinforcement is nothing but it is the uh, fiber or say you can use the glass strand as a reinforcement so different types of fibers are used as a reinforcement so here in the hand layer method first of all you have to provide your epoxy resin in form of liquid and also you can provide your fiber or say your reinforcement sheet so after providing reinforcement sheet you can add your liquid and you can uh, flow your resin or say epoxy with help of roller so you can equally uh, flow or say equally form your this resin or say epoxy resin with help of roller right so this is how alternate layers of uh, your reinforcement and your epoxy resin can be made and the whole composite 
will be made after curing or say after cooling and after setting up right so after some time your whole uh, uh, measure or say your whole setup of your reinforcement and your liquid that is epoxy resin is settled down so this is how you can make your composite material with hand that is a hand layer method so here i uh, in the in this view i mentioned the easily uh, made uh, reinforcement matrix or say easily made composite material so in this view i mentioned the process of hand layer so you can with help of roller you can make your composite material so here for your better information here i mentioned one video in which uh, i mentioned various steps so as per our discussion your reinforcement layer or the fiber is placed on this uh, table so after that what happens here you have to provide the epoxy resin right that is nothing but your matrix material that is continuous material right and here after putting this reinforcement layer you can uh, do or say you can move your roller and you can spread your epoxy resin material so after piling the layers or say after putting the several layers your composite is ready it means your composite material is ready so this is how uh, or so this is how your composite material looks like so this is very simple process with help of a hand you can make your component that is composite material so as per our discussion in this process i mentioned all the steps so as per our discussion first of all you have to provide your fibrous material that is the reinforcement and after that you can provide your epoxy resin and with help of roller you can spread evenly your epoxy resin and after that you can add a several layers of your reinforcement right so this is how you can go for a composite material forming or manufacturing so what is the main advantage of this process so this process is very quick and easily it means you can uh, do your or say you can do the hand lap very easily without much components or without much complexity right so you can add several layers and you can make changes to your design so it is a easily and it's a quick process you can go for composite material manufacturing so after that here as per the name i mentioned the spray layer process so here as per the name spray layer it means here various layers of your reinforcement and your matrix material can be provided with help of a spray right so here spray gun is used or in other words chopper gun is used so this gun is known as chop gun or chopper gun so here actually what happens once again i repeat there are two things reinforcement and your matrix so here your purpose is to provide the continuous that is epoxy resin so in here your purpose is to provide the resin material and add the fiber or say add the reinforcement so for example here i mentioned in this image one gun is used for providing this uh, layers or say providing this combination of your matrix that is epoxy resin and also your fibrous or say glass strand of or say reinforcement material right so that's why chopping is very important here chopper gun is used so as per the name chopper gun here continuous strand or continuous wire of reinforcement are available so function of chopper gun is to cut the this continuous glass strand or continuous reinforcement fibrous material into small part that is chopping so the function of this chopping gun is to chop or to cut your fiber or say your reinforcement into small parts so it will throw away the small glass strands or small reinforcement parts and together with the resin there will be a formation of layers of the composite materials so that's why this process is known as a spray layer process right so here i mentioned in this view the spray layer process so once again i mentioned this simple view of spray layer after that here i mentioned the detailed component view for the spray layer process so here as per our discussion the fiber roller is there or say fiber roll is there in uh, from which we can provide the reinforcement or say fiber so here a uh, fiber roll is there so with help of this mechanism you can provide the continuous 
a wire form fibrous material or some reinforcement material right so in the gun there will be a two inputs first one is a reinforcement continuous wire that is fed into gun and second one is your epoxy resin right so after that when the chopping gun is operated what happens your reinforcement will be chopped in small parts and also resin is provided right so that's how we can make or say this that's how we can form the composite material so here i mentioned for your better understanding from this stacks or from this video we can easily understand the function of this chopper gun so here you can see from this view here chopper gun is uh, operated and here in the chopper gun i mentioned the reinforcement wire that is you can see the white wire that is fed into this chopper gun so the function of gun is to cut this into smaller parts that is this continuous fiber and you can go for your composite material manufacturing right so here i mentioned all the steps or say process of this spray layer so here one thing is very important here your composite material can be made with help of this spray gun right so this is a quick process as compared to the hand layer and chopper gun is here used right so here i mentioned various advantages for this process so in this process chopping is very important and here reinforcement can be cut with help of this chopper gun so resin is also provided or so fed into this gun or say into this mixing gun right so this process spray layer is very important for composite materials for any combination it means you can make your composite materials very quick and in any shape so any any complex shape composite materials can be easily made with help of this spray layer because with help of spray gun you can form the layer in any inaccessible areas so you can go for any complex composite part manufacturing with help of this process so this process can be easily automated because only gun is there so you can easily automate this gun and you can uh, handle this process automatically so this is all about the basic manufacturing process that is hand layer and your spray layer process thank you all of you